In this video, we will be studying about mathematics. Students, in the previous video, we have studied about what are complementary angles. Okay. Now, according to the definition, if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree, then they are called as complementary angles. Now, we will move further in our topic. Now, consider two angles. Say, measure angle A is say 80 degree and measure angle B is equals to 100 degrees. Okay. Now, if I add the measures of these two angles, okay, if I add the measures of these two angles, then it becomes like this measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals to 80 plus 100 that is equals to 180 degrees. So students, if you get two angles whose measures if you add and you get the sum as 180, then such angles are called as are called as supplementary angles okay students now i'll write the definition for you now what are supplementary angles if the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degree then such angles are called supplementary angles understood so what are supplementary angles if the sum of the measures of two angles is 180 degree then such angles are called as supplementary angles. Now students, we will directly move into the examples. Okay. We will directly move in your practice set number 17. Now students, in your previous exercise, if you would have solved your previous exercise, the question was asked, find the complement of the given angle find the measure of the complementary angle for the given angle over here in practice set number 17 in practice set number 17 what do you have the first question reads what write the measures of the supplement of the angle given below so in the previous one we had to find the measure of the complement here we are going to find the measure of the supplement our methodology will be nearly the same only two things will change one the name instead of complementary angle it will be supplementary angle and the measure the total is over there 90 degrees here it will be 180 degree the rest of the format is going to be the same Chalo. let us find the measure of the first supplement so for the first question the first sum is 15 degree so what you are going to say, you want to find the supplementary angle for this angle. You are going to say, let the measure of the supplementary angle be x. Let the measure of the supplementary angle be x. Now students, if this angle and this angle are supplementary angles then what can we say about their measures the measures will add up to how much 180 correct the sum of the measures is 180 so 
so therefore you can write 15 plus x is equals to 180 degree therefore x is equals to 180 minus this 15 will go on this side it will become minus 15 therefore x is equals to 5 6 165 degrees therefore the final answer you are going to write as the supplement the measure of the supplementary angle is 165 degrees i hope you have understood how to solve this sum now students let us move further with our exercise i hope after this you will be able to solve all the remaining sub questions of question number one okay now let us look at question number two in question number two they have given us the measures of a few angles and they have asked us use them to make pair of complementary and supplementary angles so you are supposed to use those pairs and you have to check whether they are complementary angles or they are supplementary angles so how to move about it okay i'll do it for the first angle okay question number two first now we will check the first angle is b is equals to measure of angle b is equals to 60 degree and measure of angle n equals to 30 degree now what do you mean by complementary angles complementary angles means the sum of the measures should be 90 degree and supplementary means the sum should be 180 degree so what we are going to do is over here we are supposed to add the measures of the two angles so what we are going to do we are going to consider measure of angle b plus measure of angle n so what is measure of angle b 60 degree what is measure of angle n 30 degree therefore measure of angle b plus measure of angle n how much is the total 90 degree now since the sum of the measures of these two angles is 90 degree therefore measure therefore angle b and angle n are complementary angles therefore angle b and angle n are complementary angles understood i'll solve one more now what i'm going to do is with angle b i'm going to keep on adding the other numbers okay so next i'm going to take with measure of angle b b is 60 degree and measure the next angle i'm going to take is angle y angle y is 90 degree okay i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to add and check what is the total of these measures so consider measure angle b plus measure angle y that is equals to 60 plus 90 that will be how much 150 degree now look at this total this is 150 in order for this pair to be complementary the measure should be 90 and in order for this pair to be supplementary the total should come as 180 so it is neither 90 neither 180 therefore these are neither complementary neither supplementary so students similarly for the rest of the examples you have to keep on adding and checking whether the pairs are complementary or supplementary or none of them okay so i hope you will be able to solve for the rest of the given sub questions in question number two okay now moving forward with the practice set
Now, let us look at question number three. In question number three, it says, in triangle X Y Z, measure of angle Y is ninety. What kind of pair do angle X and angle Z make? So they have said, in triangle X Y Z, measure of angle Y. is equals to 90 degree is equal to 90 degree you have to check what type of angles are angle x and angle z okay now we know in a triangle the sum of measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 degrees okay students keep in mind since the sum of measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree therefore measure of angle x plus measure of angle y plus measure of angle z is equals to 180 degrees students remember the sum of measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree so what is the measure of angle y 90 degree so you will write therefore measure of angle x plus 90 plus measure of angle z is equals to 180 degree i will take this numerical value on the other hand side so therefore i will have measure of angle x plus measure of angle z is equals to 180 minus 90 therefore measure of angle x plus measure of angle z is equals to 90 degree so students can notice if we add the measure of angle x to the measure of angle y the total is 90 degree now such type of angles are called as complementary angles so therefore you can write therefore angle x and angle z are complementary angles understood okay now let us move forward with the next question okay the next question reads the difference between the measures of two angles of a complementary pair is 40 degree find the measures of two angles now this is a word problem okay students pay attention to it in word problems you need to understand what has been said or what is given or what they are speaking about so in order to understand that you need to read the word problems at least two to three times okay to understand what is given and to understand what we have to find out okay so let us read the question it says the difference between the measures of two angles of a complementary pair is 40 degree find the measure of two angles so what they are saying they are saying the difference difference okay so they are talking about difference difference of what difference between the measures okay so they are talking about difference between the measures of two angles okay and what type of angles are those those are complementary pair so they are saying the difference of the measures of angles of a complementary pair is 40 degrees okay so we are talking about two angles say one is angle a and the other is angle b okay now what they are saying is that that angle a and angle b the difference between two angles is 40 which means if angle a is the bigger angle then the smaller angle 
if you subtract the smaller measure of the smaller angle from the measure of the bigger angle the difference will be 40 so we can say let angle a be the greater angle and angle b be the smaller angle okay now what they have said that the difference between these two angles is how much 40 degree so you can say difference not the subtraction between the measures of these angles so measure angle a minus measure angle b is equals to 40 the difference between the measures of these two angles is 40 degree okay next step what we are going to say is we are going to say let measure of angle a is equals to x what we are going to say we are going to say let the measure of angle a be x therefore this statement the change in this statement will be instead of a i am going to write x so x minus measure of angle b is equals to 40 degree x minus measure of angle b is equals to 40 degree now what i am going to do is i am going to take this on left hand side and this on the right hand side so whenever you are changing the position with the equal to sign the sign will also change so what will happen this x is over here this minus b when it goes on this side this becomes positive b and this 40 when it comes on this side it becomes minus 40 why this is positive now this becomes negative therefore measure of angle b is equals to x minus 40 degree i hope you have understood what has been done over here I'm going through it one more time they have said the measures of the difference between the measures of two angles of a complementary pair is 40 degree find the measures of the angles so what we said we said let a be the greater angle and b be the smaller angle since the difference is 40 therefore measure of angle a minus measure of angle b is equals to 40 we said let the measure of angle a be x therefore this equation turns to x minus measure angle b equals to 40 so x minus 40 is equals to measure of angle b over here this positive 40 when it comes on this side it becomes negative 40 and this negative measure angle b when it goes on this side it becomes positive measure angle b so measure of angle b is how much x minus 40 now what they have said about angle a and angle b they have said they are complementary pair so therefore since angle a and angle b are complementary pair therefore measure of angle a plus measure of angle b equals to 90 degree now let us substitute the values so a becomes x and b becomes x minus 40 equals to 90 i'm solving it over here so this becomes x plus x minus 40 equals to 90 this becomes 2x equals to 90 minus 40 goes that side this becomes plus 40 therefore 2x is equals to 130 therefore x is equals to 130 upon 2 therefore x is equals to 65 now what is x actually measure of angle a now since measure of angle a is equals to x so this will be equals to 65 degrees and measure of angle b is what 
x minus 40. So this will be 65 minus 40 that is equals to 25 degrees. Okay students, I hope you have understood this sum. Now let us let us look into next question. The next question, I hope you will be able to solve the next question. The next question says in quadrilateral PTNM, which is a rectangle, write the pairs of supplementary angle. Now, since PTMN is a rectangle, what is the property of the angles of a rectangle? The property of the angles of a rectangle is that every angle the measure of every angle of a rectangle is 90 degree so you add any pair to each other any num any angle to the other you will get the total as 180 okay so i want you to do it by yourself now let us look into question number six let us look into question number six. The question number six says, if measure of angle A is 90 degree, what is the measure of the supplement of the complement of A? Now, this is a tricky one. Okay. Question number six, measure of angle A is equals to 70 degree. Okay. What do you have to find? You have to find the measure of, to find. measure of the supplement of the complement of angle A. Okay. They have given the measure of angle A as 70 degree. You have to find the measure of the supplement of the complement of angle A. See, what do you have to find? You have to find the measure of the supplementary angle. Okay? You have to find the measure of the supplementary angle. But of which angle? Of the complement of A. Which means, the first thing you have to do is, you have to find the value of this complement of A. Once you get the value of complement of A, then you find the value of the supplement of A. So, how you are going to solve this? I'm going to say let the measure of the complementary angle of angle A B X. Okay. Therefore, you can say X plus 70 equals to 90 degree. Therefore, x is equals to 90 minus 70. Therefore, x is equals to 20 degree. So, what is the measure of the complementary angle of A? That is 20 degree. Now, for this angle, you have to find the supplementary angle. So, you have to find the measure of the Supplement of the complement of A. For measure angle X is equal to 20 degree, you have to find the complementary angle. So what you are going to say? You are going to say, let the measure of the supplementary angle be here you have taken x, so you are going to say, say m, b m. Therefore, now this is the supplementary angle of this. So therefore, I am going to write 20 plus m equals to 180. Supplementary angle means 180. Complementary angles means 90. Okay. Now, therefore, m equals to 180 minus 20. 
therefore m is equals to how much 160 degrees so understood how to find the measure of the supplement of the complement of angle a okay now let us move forward with the next question now in the next question they have said angle a and angle b are supplementary angles and measure of angle b is given you have to find the measure of angle a okay now question number seven angle a and angle b are supplementary pair and measure of angle B equals to x plus 20 x plus 20 degree you have to find the measure of angle A now don't get worried sir measure of angle B is given as x plus 20 they have not given anything for angle A so need not what we are going to do is we are going to do this we are going to say since angle A and angle B are supplementary therefore measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals to 180 degree therefore measure of angle A plus what is measure of angle B x plus 20 equals to 180 degree therefore measure of angle A plus x plus 20 equals to 180 degree therefore measure of angle a is equals to 180 this becomes minus x this becomes minus 20 therefore measure of angle a is equals to 160 minus x degrees okay i hope you have understood the sum now students your assignment will be you have to complete all the remaining sums of practice set number 17.